Actress Felicity Huffman inside federal court. She's said to be sentenced in a sweeping college admission scandal. Prosecutors recommending she serve one month in prison and pay a $20,000 fine. Joining me now is federal prison consultant Justin Paperny. He is the co-founder of White Collar Advice. Justin, what is, what is it like on a day like today with somebody who no prior offenses, uh, she's admitted she did wrong, she's pleaded with the judge basically saying, I, I knew that I was wrong, you know, have some leniency on me today. Well, as she gets ready to speak to the judge, something I know well, what goes through your mind is questions. Have I done everything I could have to prepare to convey that uh, through my own efforts that I'm worthy of mercy, that this was out of character behavior? Have my lawyers done everything they could? So as she's speaking to the judge, a million thoughts will be going through her mind. And uh, we're going to know here soon enough what happens. So you give advice to people who are, are going through this. What, what advice would you give to her and her family today or for others who are watching? She's just a, one of many. Um, she's just one of the most famous yep. people that is being uh, sentenced. But there's a lot more to come in the future. Sure. So we're working with defendants in this case. And I tell all of them the sentencing date is actually better than the guilty plea. The guilty plea is tough because you're in the land of the unknown wondering what's going to happen, regardless of what happens today, whether she gets probation 15 or 30 days in federal prison, she'll have clarity and she can begin to move on to the next phase of her life. And it's probably part of the reason Lori Loughlin and her husband, in a way, will be envious or jealous. Even if she gets sentenced to prison, they'll be somewhat jealous because she has clarity, something every federal defendant begs for. Now, w when it comes to celebrities um, and, and this kind of thing, you know, the, the public is sitting there saying, well, why should she be allowed to stay at home in her beautiful Hollywood Hills home? I mean, people, if somebody else had done this, they wouldn't have been afforded such a thing. Do celebrities sometimes have it harder when it comes to a case like this? I think celebrities have it harder because the bar may be higher and it's easier for people to express their concerns that the rich people are treated differently. The reality is the facts are the facts. It's a first time nonviolent offender. The United States Sentencing Commission has encouraged courts to try to avoid non-custodial sentences for nonviolent first time offenders. She's accepted responsibility. She's led a life of privilege. So once we get past the sensationalized headlines, the facts of the case should speak for themselves. And according to some research, similar cases like this, the defendant has received probation, mm -hmm. which is what I suspect she may receive today. But we'll know shortly, like I said. We will. We are keeping an eye on it. Justin Paperny, thank you for being here today. Of course. Thank you. Any minute from now, Felicity Huffman will find out whether she's going to prison. The actress has pleaded guilty to conspiracy and fraud. She is the first of dozens of parents to be sentenced. Let's bring back Emily Campagno, Jill Dobson, and Justin Paperny. Good to have you here. Um, Jill, tell me a little bit about, you know, this is Emmy season. And um, you know, she, this could have been a very different fall for her. Indeed, the Emmys are coming up on September 22nd. And the show that she was in called When They See Us is up for 16 Emmy nominations. And she had a meaty role in that. Mm -hmm. But because of all this controversy going on, she was not submitted for Emmy nomination But she did get a letter of support from Eva Longoria. Yes, she did. So Felicity won an Emmy in 2005 when she was on Desperate Housewives. And her co-star from that, Eva Longoria, has written a letter to the judge asking for leniency, talking about how she supported her when Eva was being bullied on set, and she said Felicity got it to stop. Also, the creator of Desperate Housewives, Mark Cherry, has spoken on her behalf, written a letter to the judge, actually, and William H. Macy, her husband. has. Justin, do you find that any of those letters actually make a difference to a judge in a case like this? They certainly make a difference. I prefer you know, quantity uh, or quality over quantity. Some defendants will turn in 100 letters. Sometimes five mm -hmm. or six letters will will do the job. What matters, much like the letter that Felicity would have turned in, is the content in, in the letters. We've interviewed federal judges who have said, we don't care if the letter comes from an electrician, a plumber, or your best friend, as long as it speaks to the defendant's character. If that's done well, absolutely, it will impact the judge. Mm -hmm. Emily, we have some uh, information from inside the courtroom. Her husband, William H. Macy, is seated in the front row on the left side. They've gone through all the pre-sentencing information, and now they're talking about the sentencing guidelines. So we're getting closer to knowing what's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. And, and just to kind of piggyback on what Justin was saying. So first of all, it's important for the family to sit in that front row, yes, to show support, to show the judge that she has people that can attest to her character, etc. cetera. Uh, the most important thing in those letters, it's content, and it's also touching on, again, that level of remorse. And I'm sorry if I like sound bitter, you guys, but those letters, those, they were such jokes to me. Eva Longoria, like, oh, she saved me from bullying on set and whatnot. It 
totally missed the point. I have written many letters like that, and I have read many letters like that. And the sincerity and the, the sense of proportion is also really crucial. And so here, all it did to me was further the fact that these guys are living in a bubble. It is not the real world whatsoever. She is only sorry that she got caught, but we shall see how the judge feels about it. Jill, when you think yeah. about how it could have affected other people, you know, in Hollywood, you say she, she didn't get an Emmy nomination. Um, what about others who might be worried that, like, they maybe have done something like this, too? Like, we don't know, like, the full list, this investigation is ongoing. Yeah, I think a lot of people in Hollywood don't want to be connected to this in any way. And when I've interviewed celebrities on the red carpet and at sit-down interviews, they've refused to comment on this when I've asked about it. So I was somewhat surprised to see Eva Longoria come mm -hmm. forward in support because most people don't want to be connected to this. And I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, did I do something that's borderline? I'm, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these defendants are saying, I didn't know I was breaking the law, mm -hmm. which you might believe, and I know that doesn't yeah. excuse them but Justin could I ask you what it's like you know the 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 stress on a family and I'm not I, I'm just being empathetic I'm not being sympathetic I just but the, the stress on a family when they go through something like this um, are they do you usually see people get closer together or does it really tear people apart it depends on the the defendant and the tone they set and their approach on a daily basis some defendants are suicidal some can't some are unable to get out of bed, sleep, or hardly function. So it really, mm -hmm. the defendant sets, sets the tone. In this case, I think she's done a, a pretty good job of accepting responsibility. If I were guiding her on the character reference letters, what she did best in this case was stopping it when Singer suggested he could help her, her other child. She said, no, it doesn't feel right to me. That kind of shows that she got it, uh -huh. that she recognized what she did was wrong, right. and that uh, that was a big deal, and that's what those letters should have focused All on. Right.